have you all missed me <laughs> I know I have missed you guys a lot it's been a while since I posted a video guys and I apologize for that I've been so busy I can say I've been blessed to be able to work with uh, work on some projects around the house and also uh, went on family vacation with my family to celebrate my dad's 70th uh, birthday in Charleston, North Carolina. I might share some of that um, that uh, vacation time with the family. We really had fun and um, everybody in the family came. Even my brother from UK and his wife came. It was really fun. Like I said, um, I apologize guys. Um, it's been overwhelming work has been overwhelming and um, projects too so <clears throat> I took a little break but I'm back and I'm entering in this um, challenge that is hosted by Corey at um, Desert DIY ugly duckling challenge this is my first time entering into the challenge and I'm really excited to try this for the first time there is a lot of amazing youtubers that are in this challenge and i will um enter the playlist on the description box below you can go there and check it out and i'll explain more in the description box to let you know what we're doing we're entering uh the <laughs> we're finding i can say we're going out to find the ugliest piece that we can find and give it a new life make it look beautiful so it's called ugly duckling that's uh, I think that's why it's called ugly duckling just find the ugliest piece that you can find and make it look beautiful so um, like I said I'll uh, link the playlist down below and go check out these amazing youtubers that are doing this with me so um, after all she's uh, Corey she's gonna pick the winner and I will share with you all the winner on my Instagram and also on my YouTube page uh, if I um, uh, when that happened. So let's go. I found this dresser on Facebook Marketplace for free. Here is the picture here. Up here you can see. So I am going out to pick up this dresser that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Lucky for me, I found something. Uh, let me go pick it up and I'll come back and show you guys how I make over this dresser. So here's the dresser guys. My husband and my son helping me to bring it to the backyard because this dresser guys need a lot of work. It is the ugly duckling challenge. This is the best I can find. As you can see, oh my god, the veneer is coming off and there's a lot of water damage on this dresser. So we need to, sorry, I need to pull all this off, all this veneer off. I got her off some strength to pull it off, but this was really a headache. I had to call my brother to come out and help me because I needed some, uh, what can I say? <laughs> the manpower to pull this veneer off we have used different techniques guys to pull this off this dresser was really well made the best way to pull it out was to use this chisel that was the easiest way we have used the dryer and all sorts of uh, tools I can say so the chisel was the easiest way to remove this veneer and I thank God for having him around to help me do this because like I said it was really hard to pull this veneer out so because we use the chisel there are some areas that the, um, the chisel have pulled the wood underneath so that's what he's showing me uh, that will be an easy fix all I need to do is just take a wood filler and then fill those holes and sand it down and make the whole area smooth again After taking the veneer on top of the dresser, the next thing to do is to clean this dresser really well like I always do with all of my projects. Uh, this dresser was really really dusty, it needed to be cleaned so I clean it first with uh, soapy water and then use a combination of TSP and water and clean this dresser really really good. But before I go any further, let me start by saying hello my friends, hello my lovelies, 
welcome back to my channel this is your girl Dixie and if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch this amazing project that I'm working on this week if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so whenever I post a new video you will be notified and to all my beautiful subscribers thank you so much for being part of my YouTube family and thank you so much for coming over to watch this amazing project that I'm working on. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm entering into this amazing <laughs> challenge hosted by Corey at Desert DIY, the Ugly Duckling Challenge. So let me let you guys dive into this video and see how I transform this dresser. After cleaning the dresser, I let the dresser completely dry and then apply wood filler on top of the dresser, the drawers and the sides of the dresser, all these areas as you see in the front and on the side that needed to be filled with wood filler. Let the wood filler dry completely and then use my orbital sander with 120 grit sandpaper to sand this dresser really good so I can get it ready to be painted. Now the dresser is all sanded and ready to be painted. But first off, I'm gonna be applying two coats of uh, primer first before I apply the actual paint color that I chose for this dresser. I'm applying primer because one, the dresser is old, and two, I've sanded some area of the dress, I've sanded too much off, and I don't wanna have any bleed through, so the best way to prevent that is to apply two coats of uh, primer and then apply the actual paint color that I choose for this dresser. So I'm gonna be applying the first coat of primer and let it dry, then sand it down lightly and apply the second coat before I apply the actual paint color that I choose for this dresser. So I chose two different paint color to mix it to get the color that I really wanted for this dresser. I uh, uh, mix them together to match this uh, wallpaper that you see me holding. You will see later on where I use this wallpaper. So these are the two paint color that I blended to get the actual paint color that I want for this dresser. It is a chalk paint by Bear. Um, I'll be applying three coats of paint because I want a real good coverage. I could get away with two coats of, but I want a really good coverage. So I'm going up for a third coat of paint just to cover this dresser really well. I want the color to really stand out and pop. So <laughs> I'll be applying the first coat of paint, let it completely dry, come and lightly sand it down a little bit and apply the second coat of paint just repeat the process let it completely dry sand it down lightly apply the third coat of paint
like I said earlier, this dresser is a really old dresser. So some of the drawers of the dresser were broken and some of them were cracked. So I had to fix them and then apply wood filler. So I decided to paint the sides of the drawers. After applying the tight coat, I let the dresser completely dry and then apply two coats of water-based polyurethane by Bear. I apply the first coat, let it completely dry, sand it lightly, sand it down and then apply the second coat to seal the paint. So like I said, this dresser is really old. As you all can see in the beginning, the dresser has a lot of water damage. So the drawers were really affected. So what I decided to do was to get this beautiful wallpaper, textured wallpaper from Amazon to cover up the drawers. So this is the top drawer and it has this design. So I needed to take this design off so that I can have a smooth area to cover uh, for the wallpaper to uh, lay flat. The wallpaper is really sticky but I wanted uh, it to last long so I decided I could go without it but I decided to use a Mod Podge to just to give it a a stronghold like I said the wallpaper is really really sticky so I just chose to add Mod Podge you really don't need to add Mod Podge um, this is my first time using a wallpaper on a drawer and this was really really easy guys to apply this wallpaper there were no bubbles no not, nothing I can say it was really really easy to apply this wallpaper and uh, after I applied the wallpaper, I used this awesome tool <laughs> that you will see me later on using. <laughs> this rolling pin just to make sure the wallpaper is laying flat. So I just used the roll rolling peel pin just to reinforce it. That's all. That's the reason why I'm using it. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said it laid really flat the wallpaper was really easy to apply so I'm using this sanding block to sand off the excess of the wallpaper on the uh, edges of the drawer using these sanding blocks help really good um, to cut the excess off and also help the edges to hold really well on the drawer This wallpaper is so beautiful look at it guys oh my god so the dresser came with wheels on the bottom and it was missing one so I had to remove all the wheels so I'm using this furniture part that I got from Amazon to cover up the holes where the wheels were now the dresser is all ready but before I show you what the dresser is looking like now let's remind ourselves how this dresser looked like before this water damage Veneer of veneer coming out dresser this is how the dresser is looking like now oh my god this is a whole different look a total different look guys look at the dresser 
like I said this is my first time entering into this ugly duckling challenge and this is also my first time using a wallpaper <laughs> on a drawer what do you all think let your girl know how she did this time just leave a comment down below and let me know how I did this time thank you all so much for stopping by and guys don't forget to go check out the playlist and see these awesome youtubers that are entering into this challenge i hope you all enjoyed this video thank you all so much you all have a beautiful day this is your girl Dixie saying bye till next time